is Johnny Five from the Flowbots, and you're watching Guerrilla Journalism. We shall not be moved except by a child with no socks and shoes. If you've got more to give, then you've got to prove. Put your hands up and I'll copy you and stand up. I worked really closely with the uh, designer, a local, another person from Denver we respect very much, Jonathan Till. And I told him that the very theme, the, the actual title from the album, came from a World War II propaganda poster called Fight With Tools that was trying to get engineers and other machine smiths into the war effort. Like trying to get them to use their abilities to fight the war. So I'm like, wait, what kind of war is going on right now and we're being asked to use our gifts and abilities for? And we discussed this, like, as a group, like, there's a war going on for our minds, our very mental real estate, and how are we being asked to use those abilities? So when I was talking with Jonathan Till about this, he went to different, like, to other, like, propaganda posters, kind of his influence. That's why it has those dark textures. that we wear are, it's, it's, it's not blind patriotism, it is, as we say, it is, it is a flag from the future. This flag is from the future. This, this is from an America that does not yet exist. It's from a country that we believe that we are working for right now. The American flag has been flown for a lot of things in the past that, that we're not proud of. You know, the, the flag that we wear is not the flag of oppression, it's not the flag of slavery. This is a flag of, of hope. This is, a, this is a flag where where people are coming together and, and dialoguing. This is a flag of, of a future America that we can be proud of. And as with anything from the future, there are alternate futures. Uh, it may or may not happen the way you want it to happen. But we, we really believe that at a lot of the key crucial moments um, that have formed the aspects of, the, of this country that we are proud of, um, People have had to behave almost like insurgents. They've been outsiders. So, you know, the folks in the civil rights movement, which a lot of people will call the freedom movement, they were they had to they had to push their way in and they pushed with nonviolence and they changed the entire moral landscape. It, people don't think about what would have happened if those folks had not done that. We could still be living in the same situation today. Change is not inevitable. Change happens when people decide that they want to be a part of making that change. So this this represents the country that we believe we can build together together in the United States if we are committed to some fundamental change. But it's also like bringing it all together because we wanted to show how like we are all in on this. There's a multitude of people. And some of those folks with a mask, they could be anybody. Stand up. Stand up. We shall not be moved except by a woman dying from a loss of food. If you've got more to give, then you've got to prove. Put your hands up and I'll copy you. That's the uh, the author of that is a guy named DJ Kaufman who uh, contacted us out of the blue and said, you know what, I, I do web comics, I like your, I like robots. If we could work together, that'd be cool. Uh, Stefan Bray Rabbit, the other MC, he's you know he's we're all into comics. I'm into comics, but I kind of I've fallen off. My nerd credentials are low right now. But he knew about DJ Kaufman and said, oh, absolutely, it's, you know, it's incredible that you wrote us. We started brainstorming right away. How can we work together? And there's so many things we're not working together on, but one of the most visible is the webcomic. Um, he basically said, look, I'd like to do some stories based on stories that you have heard from fans. So that's why right now the storyline's about Iraq, because we get a lot of soldiers, um, either current, currently in Iraq or just back from Iraq, or even folks in the IBAW, um, you know, um, resisting, resisting the war in Iraq, speaking out against the war in Iraq. We get the full spectrum writing to us, and so we wanted to try to represent those experiences. And I think he's doing a great job. I think he does a tremendous job with it. You know, I think it's it's it's, it's one more uh, way for us to kind of get our message out there. And, and DJ's been a great mouthpiece for it. I think absolutely getting handlebars onto the radio in Denver um, because it's not a song that. 
you know, if, you, if you're working the alternative radio and you hear handlebars, you're not going to think, oh, this is an automatic hit. Um, our local radio station, we'd ask them to put it on, and you know, they said, well, maybe we can try it out. Um, what they really did, though, they said, we have a contest coming up with 30 local bands. Get your song in that contest, get people to vote for you, and uh, you know, whoever wins gets actually some airtime. So as a result of that contest, we got some airtime. As soon as we were on the air, the phones went crazy, people started calling in, and they, the radio station, the DJs at the station said, you know what, we have never seen a reaction like this to any song in our 10 years working here. And so once that happened, we knew we had something, and we knew that it was um, the, the song and the response to the song would supersede any notions of what did and did not belong on that station. You sit and swallow pain for all of those who will not speak. Well, we signed with a major record label, which is Universal Republic, and um, that wasn't really a challenge. I mean, we wouldn't have signed the deal if they wouldn't have let us keep our artistic freedom and, and do the messaging and the things that we want to do. So we saw that as an opportunity to uh, get our message out to as many people as possible and get them engaged, get them excited. And they've really done a great job of doing that. But that's also hard because it is a corporation and it's a big thing. And it's like, you know, out, the good that outweighs the evil, you know? Like, we feel our music, if we can get out there and get it to a lot of people and get people engaged, that overweighs, you know, the corporate machine. So, um, Challenge, I mean, just like any other band, it's just, you know, it's getting along, it's communicating, it's figuring out what we want to do musically and as a show, um, and trying to get them put on the best show possible, but also just keep our sanity and make sure that we're all getting along and talking and, and uh, uh, our messaging is correct. Um, I don't know, I mean, there's, just like any band, we've had our challenges. Uh, you know, being away from our families for long periods of time is really difficult. Um, you know, uh, trying to start a nonprofit and have a band as a business at the same time and figuring out what we can do and what will work, what won't work. You know, we feel like we're on the forefront of, of bands doing that. We're, we're trying to be in charge of a nonprofit organization and our band, and that's really hard to juggle both things. You know, so well, I think we're doing a good job. We're learning as we go, and I think it's really good. So. Somewhere between prayer and revolution, between Jesus and Huey P. Newton. That's where you find Johnny Five shoot shooting. Water guns at the audience while you're scooting. Your gluteus max due to the fact that he's tooting. On the whole, at the point now where basically anytime I write, I'm writing as it's a rhyme. I mean, anytime I just have, you know, if I've had a bad day or if I'm upset about something, I, I put it into a rhyme, and that's kind of how I express myself and communicate. Um, so, you know, in that sense, just daily life affects lyrics. But specifically, the work you're seeing as Flowbots, um, I think just the kind of culmination of these last eight years and this, this, the, the, what we've all been experiencing as a country, we've tried to put that into, um, into this album, Fight With Tools, with the idea that we have to be as loud and as vocal and as militant about peace as... Um, the, as you know, the Bush administration has been about war and about fear, we, we don't want to quietly resist that. We want to actively um, show an alternative and be that alternative through our words. And so the album is based around the idea of propaganda, and that's what it is. We're, we're creating this propaganda for peace, but it's propaganda where we're, we're uh, trying to live fully, if that makes any sense. Minds, unemployed skills, desolation, worn out, torn down, just for now, thrill seekers, slang and test two babies and beakers, wear gone black. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. Sure, bro. Your approach gotta be more gorilla on it.